now. Beloved people, I want to speak to the mission, the mission of the Lord that was supposed to take place in Lima, Peru. The mission of the Lord Jehovah that was scheduled to take place in Lima, Peru, 10 hours from now, as we speak beginning now, 10 hours from now, that mighty three-day revival mission of the Lord was supposed to begin. Again, 10 hours counting from now, that mission, three days of mighty, mighty revival and open heaven in the nation of Peru was supposed to begin. And this is what I want to talk to because finally the Lord Jehovah spoke. He spoke in very mighty way that the mission to Lima, Peru must be postponed. And I've already spoken with the pastors on the ground and everything is now clearly well laid out for the mission of the Lord in Peru. The mega, the grand mega visitation of the Lord that is coming to Peru is now well set. After conversation with the pastors now, it's very, very clear. They have now put together everything that is needed for this mission to take off. And so the reason I'm calling today is, number one, because the Lord Jehovah, he loves the nation of Peru, the people of Peru, and the leadership of the people of Peru. And I know very well that at this time I'm supposed to have been inside Peru, inside Lima, Peru. I'm supposed to have been in the city of Peru. At this time I'm supposed to be in Peru already. But I'm not able to be in Peru now because the Lord spoke and this mission is now postponed. And the mission of the Lord to Peru is now going to take place even much, much bigger than what was going to happen now. That is the reason I come to you today. That the mission of the Lord that he had designed and set and prepared for the nation and the people of Peru is now going to be even much, much bigger after the modalities that the pastors we have discussed that are laying down now. And that mission is going to take place in October. It is now going to be in October before the Lord brings it the mission in Europe, in the nation of the Netherlands. And that's why I am not in Lima, Peru now. But I'm supposed to have been inside Lima, Peru now, beginning 10 hours from now. It was supposed to kick off very mighty three hours of revival. The mighty mission of Jehovah. The Lord loves the nation of Peru very much, and he has put a great love for the people and the nation of Peru in my heart also. And that is a very powerful disposition of love from the Lord to the people and the nation of Peru and the leadership of the people of Peru. Now, the date that is going to be given is going to be in October because now everything has been spelled out very clearly in our conversation with the pastors in Peru. And it's going to be, again, four days. A four-day revival in Peru. Two days of conference and two days of healing service. Massive healing service in Lima, Peru. So it's going to be much, much bigger. Much greater. Now the Lord has stirred up a big hunger, even a great hunger for all the people, the nations around. And that's why I am calling to tell all those that were traveling to Peru, to Lima, Peru, to know that I am not in Lima, Peru now. I am going to come to Lima, Peru in October. In October, the Lord is going to bring his two prophets, the two most dreadful prophets, the most powerful prophets of Yahweh. He's going to bring them to Lima, Peru in October. And so this is to bless the pastors in Peru, to tell them that the bigger mission is coming, even greater, even bigger is coming. And I have seen, again, about less than two days ago, about 36 hours or so, the Lord was showing me, again, the big mission to Peru, Lima, Peru. And I want to say 
that now even much more, considering that the president of Peru himself has instructed the facilitation, the modalities on the ground, and all that, because I saw the email and the text you sent me, how your government has gotten involved at the highest level, I will honor that. I must honor that and come to Lima, Peru, before I go to the Netherlands. So the new date will be given because of the involvement of your top leadership on the mission of the Lord, on the mission of these two dreadful prophets of God, the most powerful prophets of Yahweh, coming to Lima, Peru. The way the leadership of your nation has gotten involved, I saw your text, and the way the Congress also is involved, your leaders are involved. I saw your message that you wrote me the email. I will honor that, says the Lord. So the mission to Lima, Peru will be even greater. And the delegation I travel with will even increase because of the gravity and the enormity of that mission. How greater and bigger it will be. So this is to bless the people of Peru and the Church of Christ in Peru and to let you know that your visitation is your visitation. It has been apportioned you. Nobody will take it away from you. And for me as the slave of God, I am ready to come to Peru. I am coming in October to Lima, Peru. I received your email, how the top leadership of your government got involved and wrote talk, the facilitation they laid on the ground for my coming to Peru. That must be honored. I will honor that, says the Lord. And so the coming meeting to Peru, the upcoming revival to Lima, Peru, has not changed. It has only changed in being greater and bigger and the time has moved that we may lay down those modalities better. It's going to be a huge explosion of revival. And I do not know what the Lord wants to do with Peru. But looks like the Lord wants to use Lima, Peru to explode out a historic revival to the South American continent. So all of you pastors that were preparing to travel, senior church leadership, the archbishops from many nations, just know that you are going back to Peru. I know some of you may have arrived, but you realize I'm not there. But you are going back to Peru. There is going to be a greater visitation, a grandier, a mega visitation of the Lord to Peru. The visitation Jehovah has apportioned the people of Peru belongs to them. Only time has shifted a bit that we may lay down even better modalities for it. So it may be greater even bigger than had been saved. And so this is to bless you, the people of Peru, to let you know that I am coming, says the Lord. That the Lord will bring me there, and I'll speak about the glorious coming of the Messiah to prepare the people of Peru that love the Lord that much. And that there will be tremendous visitation. The cripples will walk. I have seen them walk. The blind will see. The deaf will hear. I've seen all these miracles. The wonders will take place. Open heaven. Visitation of God. I've seen the rain of God falling. I've seen these two prophets command heaven and rain come down. So that visitation belongs to Peru. It will take place there. So I've essentially come on here to bless you, the pastors of Peru, to bless the leadership of the nation of Peru and all the leaders of government and church that are involved in this visitation. I have seen your email. I really appreciate your effort. I received the email you sent yesterday. The leadership of the people of Peru, the leaders of Peru. So I am coming to Peru, says the Lord. The Lord will send his two servants to Peru to prepare a holy church, a glorious church. The Messiah is coming. So may the Lord bless the nation of Peru. Only time we have delayed it a little bit to make it even bigger, to lay the groundwork, to put in place better modalities for it, that it becomes even much bigger, almost five times bigger. So may the Lord bless you, the nation of Peru, the leaders of Peru, the church leadership of Peru, the people of Peru, and the city of Lima, Peru. Even the city of Pisco and all the cities of Peru. May the Lord bless you. I will send a team in advance to help you put together the modalities even better. So, because
because of the postponement of the big, big visitation in Peru. Now they have two days of conference and two days of mega healing service. So it will be greater and greater, even bigger. And in Kenya here, there will be a team of bishops that will also join the entourage, probably 20 to 30 bishops from Kenya, will be headed to Lima, Peru, for that meeting. And I know that a lot of pastors from all over the globe, all over the world, will also be heading to Lima, Peru, during these tremendous days of revival in the precious nation of Peru. And this time the entourage will be bigger, bigger teams will come from all over the world, and we have expanded the tent a little bigger. The delegations of Kenya might be between 20 to 30 bishops from Kenya to join and head to Peru at this time. May the Lord bless the nation of Peru and the people of Peru and the city of Lima that she may prepare and recognize her hour of visitation, the day of her visitation. The Lord bless you. Shalom. Shalom.